Our symptoms were lack of power and a little bit of misfire when we tried to accelerate. It wouldn't get up over a couple thousand RPMs, so we did a diagnostic. It was a real good project, you know, working backwards, you know, from the spark plugs to the coils, up the wires, and then into yep. the switchboard. And That was a proper diagnostic test cycle we did. We did it well. Just check the spark plugs, check the wires, the coils, and then the spark unit. The coils and wires were tested by swapping them with known good ones. Same as the old one, just this one has an epoxy uh, insert to it. All the wires lined up on both sides, like straight green, brown, white, green and white, green and red, violet, and then you know the wires on the bottom. And then the three ground wires, ground wires from earlier just go there. How many mounting screws were there for? Uh, just to uh, come out the whole thing to the panel? Uh, to, to the panel too. This oh, one and this on one. Each corner, okay. Yeah. So. And that was it, huh? The ones across the bottom were just. just it was all super easy. Put them back on the way you came off. Yeah. So we're gonna. Fight you don't even off. think I need to put the coil checker on then? I don't think so. All right. This is the, the ground wire that comes on the new ones we just bought to replace didn't, it. Didn't need it. I didn't need it because we had the three ground wires connected to yeah. our green ones. Yeah. So all in all it was, you know, more time spent unscrewing and lining up everything and putting my big fingers in there. Mm -hmm. um, and it fired right up. This it, is this is kind of cool because you can see all the electronic components back in there behind the silicone. I'll put a link to this product to Amazon in the description of the video. This was $40 for a two-pack, which is really a great deal compared to getting a new name brand one. It's always nice to have a spare because you never know when something like this is going to die. This video was a collaboration between the Daryl Turcott YouTube channel, the Fishing with Dom YouTube channel, and ForesightFishing.com, a go-to website for all of your fishing information, needs, stories, and advice. So to summarize, check your spark plugs, check your coils by swapping them around and see if the spark follows the coil, check your wires the same way if you have one cylinder or maybe two that aren't firing, it's almost certainly this CDI switch box. And it's easy to change, you can do it yourself, save a bunch of money, and get back on the water a lot faster than you would by taking it to a repair shop. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.